Look at this beast. You might see an Airstream. You might see a big job. But I see easy money. That's what I'm talking about. Easy money, but awesome value for your customer. How many times have you gone about a job and you're like, I need to make 50 bucks an hour for my shop rent. I need to be a profitable detailer. You give it away, you're at 15 bucks an hour. You love the product, but you don't love the fact that this passion is without a doubt killing your bottom line. This is a job, this Airstream trailer, it's like a $90,000 brand new trailer. And I think you should make money by branding yourself as someone who does this. I'm just saying, we're gonna charge four grand for a one-step polish and a ceramic coating. We know it's not raw aluminum and that a coating will stick. So I'm gonna apply two layers of Ceramic Pro Bravo, typically a marine line, but I reached out to my rep, he says, this is the product for this particular vehicle. Now, one thing that we did, ABC baby, always be closing, we guaranteed this for life, our warranty, our shop, we are the owner's pride, we are the quality control, we are me, I am Hawk Pro. I'm selling this to my customer like I am the craftsman in his shop and I'm gonna do the best possible job that I can. I've also promised him, come in for free washes, we'll take care of you. Why am I offering him free washes? Because I needed to close this deal as we get into the winter months. So we're gonna walk you through this Airstream behemoth. We're gonna show you what it's all about. It's gonna be fun. This might be a little dangerous. And this job is gonna look amazing. Okay, let's talk products. This is my favorite thing to do. I've got my Rupes, I believe it's the Mark II. What I really like when I'm doing RVs, horse trailers, or Airstreams is the Excel backing plate. They just got these back on stock detail division. I know this is a partnership with Shine Supply. Uh, it's a thinner backing plate and what it's gonna do, it's going to continue to spin for you even when you're on a curve that might stall out. I just find it's really helpful when you're doing big jobs and things can get gunked up in your pad pretty quickly, especially on really oxidized giant vehicles. What I also love, oh my gosh, if you're not in that Koch Chemi train, hop on board. It's going fast, it's a comfortable ride, and the tracks are laid for a cross-country adventure. Let's call it Manifest Destiny as Koch Chemi comes to the States. More on Koch Chemi in videos to come. M3 Micro Cut, it's a nice polish. It'll get away rotary swirls for you, and it will also leave a nice polish. So it's a nice all-in-one finisher. I've got my purple pad. Hey man, purple and purple. Did the Germans get this one right or what? That is the combo with the medium cut on the pad and the nice finishing polish. We're gonna kiss it, okay? We're gonna keep it simple, stupid. We're gonna do the dang thing, and I'm gonna show you how we polish this all out. We're gonna steam some of the polish out of the crevices. We're going to panel wipe this, paint prep it, and we're gonna coat this, and we're gonna make our 4Gs. As well as my Rupes, I do want the Flex PXE80. It's that cordless polisher you've been hearing a lot about. And it's so easy, you have a wall charger, it comes with two batteries. I love it for RV jobs or when I need to do a lot of reaching and the tight spaces that my bigger polisher won't get into. Um, it works great. I can reach, I can dance, I can point. Um, typically, and I found this, I love my Rupes Mini, uh, three inch machine. I don't know what it is, if it's the torque, if it's whatever the machine is made of. This finishes out in a beautiful way. I love the way that it moves on paint, but it's heavy and it has a cord. So I'm gonna leave that on the polisher rack and I'm gonna rock and roll with this because the beautiful thing about this Airstream, there aren't a lot of scratches and there's no like ticking when you're trying to finish out paint. It's literally a standard operating procedure, SOP. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, up, down. Make sure you're polishing whatever is on there, removing it so the pores are most receptive after a panel wipe to take the coating. And then we've got the purple Koch Chemi pad on here. Again, M3, we're just gonna rock and roll.
When it comes to paint prep, this stuff is the real deal. Every ceramic coating brand is gonna have their own paint prep. It's gonna be way overpriced. So I highly recommend Prep All Wax and Grease Remover. It's like 20 or 30 bucks for a gallon. And I dilute it like 20% wax and grease remover, 80% distilled water. And you can spray this down on a panel and it just does a phenomenal job. So I've got it in here. And what I like to do if I'm gonna coat a vehicle, I like to give it some love. I like to let it dwell a little bit. Of course, if you have any strong um, paint prep for automotive body shop work, which this is, you wanna watch paint prep. You don't want it to like sit on there forever. Um, but Jamie Gonzalez from JNG Auto Reconditioning, video above, we do a bunch of videos together. He's a guru. He's been in this game as long as I've been alive. He loves this stuff and he even tells me He'll spray the whole car down and walk around. Now for the most rewarding part of any job, which is a ceramic coating. I wanna walk you through a couple of steps we do with Ceramic Pro. We're using Bravo, which is their technically marine coating, but I've confirmed with my rep that Bravo is the coating of choice for this particular substrate. This is a thousand dollar bottle. This is for marine, this is made to last. You can layer it every hour uh, with a maximum of three hours in between. So this is the real deal, it's very expensive and we're gonna do this right. Now the way Ceramic Pro works, and maybe this is TMI, but you do a application, then you do a dry pass, very lightly wet pass. I'm gonna drop this in my bucket. Now the idea with this, it's a bucket of distilled water. Of course I APC'd it and prepped it twice to make sure the interior is contaminant free. You wanna make sure that this is essentially not really dripping, just barely wet, right? You're just looking with the strength of Ceramic Pro, it could streak on you a little bit. You're looking to give yourself just a little bit of grippy grabby for what's not going to go into the particular substrate. Big shouts to my friends over at Auto Fiber. Ian does amazing work. I'm gonna use his Auto Fiber Saver Applicator, thin microfiber coating applicator. So these are really nice. Um, what the idea is, is they're not just gonna suck product up like a lot of these will. It's actually gonna help you save product. So if you're looking for a different kind of usage, that's not what this is for. This is to help you save product. I believe there's something inside that kicks it back up. I'm not exactly sure, but it helps you save product. Um, we want a dry towel for the first initial buff, and these are super plush, Korean plush 470s from Auto Fiber. I'll put links to all this stuff below. Uh, they make great products. So we're gonna start with some Bravo and make this happen. Okay, you probably want a respirator for this. For the video, I'm not gonna use one, and then I'll put one on. Um, how you apply this, I believe they have a strategy. I'll probably start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You can slop it on a little bit heavy, but it might be a waste of product. Kind of work it in there. And then you just wanna work kind of section by section, and you're just watching it go on. and. Application technique, man, you can do whatever you're gonna do. You can do the circles. And you can do the straight lines. You don't wanna drive this in too hard. I've made that mistake before where you kinda of scratch, especially finicky paint. But you're working it in. I'm feeling the thickness, that's amazing. I know it's working. Again, the art of the coating is avoiding high spots. But on a vehicle like this, the one thing that I don't want is for him to come back and say, this coating isn't working. So, and I take my dry buff towel, light pressure, fast movements. It's still very grippy. It's actually incredibly grippy still. It's starting to get a little bit less grippy. Again, I'm just working it in. It's gonna take as much as it's gonna take, and then I believe reject the rest. I'm gonna take this wet towel. This is sort of your safety, you know, foolproof, train your technicians. Um, can't mess it up kind of method. You obviously don't want too much moisture on that substrate. Then you can use a fresh towel or because this particular towel doesn't have a lot of coating dunked into it because that can be a problem later. You just do a buff and then essentially that area is coated. Um, we are going to do two layers so I'm going to come back to this section uh, no shorter than an hour, no longer than three hours. Oh, it just has a gloss to it. This is awesome.
Voila! So happy that this Airstream trailer is done. Two layers of ceramic coat, ceramic pro, bravo. Uh, we've got it back in the koozie, because this is, like I said, about a, a grand or $1,100 bottle, AKA the money maker. Getting a little crusty on the outside. We've coated the windows. We have coated with two layers of bravo every exterior surface. I'm wearing long sleeves, because it's about to get cold in Utah. These exposed vehicles, these big RVs, the boats get winterized, but we know the RVs sit outside all year long for the most part. This guy's getting such a head start on this vehicle. This was not a two hour job, but it was stress free. You're not following ticks on finicky black paint. This was very easy to polish to a shine, coat it and make four grand. Guys, we all need to survive as businesses. We need to follow our passion, but we also need to be able to support ourselves. Let me know what you think. You ever done an Airstream? Give me your thoughts, give me your comments. Tell me where you're watching from. Why not, right? I wanna know where you're watching from. Cold weather climate, hot weather climate, Australia, United Arab Emirates, Idaho. Let's get it, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Nick from Hawk Pro Detailing, where my goal is to make you a better detailer.